seen here, I just got Tesla update 2024.2.6. Now this is trying to address some of the issues the Uber drivers had in Chicago while charging in the cold. Now I just took a long trip this weekend in freezing temperatures. I didn't have any problems because I followed the rules as far as preconditioning the battery and checking the supercharger locations to make sure they weren't full. Now the first update is time until charging starts. Now, if you're heading towards a supercharger and the battery wasn't preconditioned, it's below freezing, it may not have enough time to warm the battery up for fast charging. This may help drivers to choose a supercharger that's a little bit further away so the car will have time to precondition. They also added a feature that will warm the charge port if you're heading to a supercharger in cold weather. Sometimes in really cold weather, the supercharger handles are dropped or they have some ice inside of them, so having a warm charge port will help. They also added some tips as far as how to manually release the cable if it becomes frozen. Basically just tell you not to try to plug a cable into a charge port that's full of ice and snow. Lastly, they tried to make range indications even more accurate by updating it for battery age. This should have been taken care of by the BMS, but I think Tesla's being super accurate, so in cold temperatures, so no one's going to arrive to the supercharger with less range than they predict. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products. And remember to hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video.